Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at the WorkZone app, which is available for download on iOS and Android smartphones. If you're using iOS, you can go to the App Store, click Search, and type WorkZone, or one word. Follow the prompts to download. The email and password will be the same as the access to employee self-service. You would have been sent an email with those details when you were first given access. If you're not sure, contact your payroll administrator. Type your email address and your password. If you can't remember your password, there is a I forgot my password option, so just follow the prompts. Click login. You need to create a four digit quick access pin. If you're using iOS, you have the option of using Touch ID so that the next time you go in, you can use your fingerprint. Once every period, you'll be asked how you found work for the week. From here, you can look at recent payslips, touch to show what you earned last week, and click on the arrow to take you to a copy of the payslip. From there, you can share it to your email or any other options. At the bottom of the app, there are a few menu options. One allows you to add or edit timesheets depending on your permissions. To add a new timesheet, just click the plus button. Select a work type if that's relevant. Select an appropriate location. Select a date, a start time, and an end time. You can edit the start and end time that's selected by changing the hour and minutes column. You can also add a break if needed. Add some notes. And you can apply this to one day, or you can select several days and apply the same details to across those days. Once you finish, click Save. The next option along is Expense Claims. You can add an expense claim by clicking the plus button, type a description, and then click Add Expense. Select the details as needed. An expense category, a location, and notes. Type an amount. And you can also add an attachment. Adding an attachment, you can use the photo library on your phone or take a photo of a receipt. The last option allows you to view your details. Currently in WorkZone, you can't change any of these details. Things like mobile phone, email address, or residential address can all be changed for the web portal only. Again, you can view recent payslips, payment summaries, bank accounts and super funds are currently read only, and here you can check your leave, emergency contacts, and other documents as well. You can also apply for leave. If you click on leave balances and click the plus button, you can select a leave category, let's say leave without pay, choose two dates, choose a leave required, add some notes, and 
And also you can include an attachment, which might be handy if you had to upload a doctor's certificate or something like that for a personal carer's leave request. Click Submit when you're finished. 